How many of you are praying for Sri Lanka to change? How many then? Please catch this. Please don't do, like I said, no religious works, okay? Not just outward religious works. Think, think with your mind. How many then today would say, Lord, I am ready for a divine intervention that may throw all my plans under the bus? Would you say that? Just answer that question. We want change. We want this nation to change. We want God to bless this nation. We want the people to be this. All these amazing things we're praying. But are you willing for him to come? And say, you, you want that? Come, let's do it together. But you have to throw away your plans. Would you respond like me? Let it be done. Or would you say, I prefer praying. I'll pray. Don't call me to do anything. Because praying, that's what I can do. Na. Beloved, he's called you for something more. Listen, all of you don't have to go through Mary's life, but some of us may. That's the reality. If you check the Bible, his 12 disciples, that is the gospel. He finds the chief persecutor of Christianity. Who was the chief persecutor of Christianity? Saul of Tarsus. And he says, Saul, you have a journey, but guess what? There is a divine intervention coming your way. And I'm enlisting you to be my mouthpiece to the rest of the world. Literally, literally, he got thrown off his horse. But what did that man say? Everything is rubbish that I may know him. Why? Why? Please catch this. Why? Why would God have a plan for you? Because God is bigger than just comfort. He wants to touch a nation. He wants to resurrect a nation. See, you and I are looking at plans like this. And God wants you to see plans, God's plans for you. Like this. So this morning, if you are feeling like Whatever God promised, nothing happened, nothing has happened. Can I encourage you to say, no, you don't know how it ends. Mary didn't know how it ended. And you don't know how it ended. It's not finished. It's not done with you. You know, just, just, just one more statement I want to make. I like this. I heard this statement from a pastor who said, perfect faith is not faith that moves God. Now catch this. Perfect faith is not faith that moves God. Okay? Bear with me. Perfect faith is faith that moves you to trust God when He doesn't seem to be moving at all. Perfect faith is when you trust God, when it doesn't seem that He's moving in the right direction. Perfect faith is to trust God when He's allowing all things in your life to move in the wrong direction. That is perfect faith. Perfect faith is not to move God and impress God, but perfect faith says, I will trust God no matter what I see, no matter what I hear.